Hi guys, Michelangelo from New York City Guitar School. Today we're going to take a look at a super sweet riff, Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. It's a super cool, um, some tricky components to that. So let's boil it down. Let's do a simplified version first. Um, the sub mainly consists of thirds on the guitar, which are going to be on these adjacent strings, the third and the second string. So I'm going to put my second finger on second fret of the third string and my first finger on first fret of the second string. It's my first shape. Then I just simply take the shape two frets higher to the fourth and the third fret. And then for the next shape, um, the notes are going to be right next to each other. They're going to parallel, so what I like to do is just kind of drop my ring finger down for a mini bar and play 5th fret of the 3rd and 2nd string. And then you go back to the previous shape, and then back down to the initial shape, and now here's a new part. You're going to play those two strings open. So now we have... And then the final shape um, for these first two measures it's going to be actually fourths, these two notes next to each other, second fret of the fourth string and second fret of the third string. Um, if you take a look at my right hand, you may notice that I'm kind of using this pinch approach right here. I'm using my thumb on the higher string and my index finger on the lower string. It gives you that nice punchy sound for the riff. Let's look at the next part now. We're going to kind of make almost like the bass of an F major 7. It's going to be uh, third finger on third fret of the fourth string and second finger on second fret of the third string, followed by third and second string open. And what I like to do, what makes this easier, is to keep your third finger down the whole time because we're going to be coming back there at the end of the measure. And then we're going to fall back into the shape we did in the beginning, almost like you're making a full F chord. play the third and the second string open twice. So now we have. And then you're just going to return to the original F shape. Now when you put that all together it becomes. And this is based around an eighth note rhythm. So I'm going to add a count in um, if you're having any questions about the rhythm. It's one and two and three and four or one and So that's a nice simplified version of this riff. If you're feeling really ambitious, you can add this drone in the right hand. We're going to be playing a bass note A for the first two measures. And then in the second two measures, this might be a little bit tricky. You're going to take your thumb and your left hand, and you're going to play first fret of the sixth string for an F drone. When you add that all together, it becomes... Try that a little faster. When you add that all together, 
we have a really cool, unique sounding riff that involves some thirds, um, some, some plucking with the thumb. So that's the riff to Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> 